Dear students, welcome to EPG Patshala. Today in this module, we will be discussing about recycling. The learning objectives of this module would be, what is recycling? What are the materials that can be recycled? What are the steps which are involved in recycling a material? What are the types of recycling? And how can you collect, sort and recycle a material? Finally, we will discuss about different recycling symbols and the benefits of recycling. I'm sure everybody would know what is recycling. Recycling is a key word in waste management. It is becoming popular in recent times and it's very very important to have a proper waste management practice. Recycling is a process of collecting, separating, cleaning and processing a material to obtain a material of marketable value. Recycling can be done at the manufacturing stage. For example, in a paper industry, the surplus paper pulp and the damaged paper are returned back to the pulping process and then made into paper. The paper can also be recycled at the post-consumer stage. For example, the used paper are collected and then it is recycled or it will enter back into the pulping process and paper is made. By doing so, you can reduce the use of virgin material, it will reduce the load on energy and it will also reduce the stress on the environment by controlling various environmental pollution. Now let's define recycling. As I told you earlier, recycle is a process of collecting, segregating, cleaning and processing a material into a marketable product. A material is recycled if it is used, reused or reclaimed. Recycling can prevent the wastage of potentially useful materials and reduce its consumption of fresh raw materials. Thereby, it will reduce the energy load, it will also reduce the stress on the environment like it will avoid air pollution from incinerators and water pollution from landfilling process. Now let's look into the different types of recycling. Recycling can be categorized into primary, secondary and tertiary recycling. Tertiary is again subcategorized into external and internal tertiary recycling. The primary recycling is defined as when the material is reused or recovered after recycling without being changed in a way is said to be primary recycling. Example, when you donate a material to a friend that is called as primary recycling. The secondary recycling is a type of recycling which involves some reasonable modification of the material or product with use of certain chemical process. Example, cutting and reshaping of products into various crafts. The last type of recycling, tertiary recycling, is a type of recycling which involves the reprocessing of materials or products by a chemical process or heat. Example is melting of metals. Now, as I told you earlier, tertiary recycle is again subcategorized into two types, external and internal recycling. External recycling is a tertiary recycling where the materials or products are recovered and reprocessed with public participation. Example, the waste is sorted and put into the respective bins and it is collected and transferred to a reprocessing facility. The internal tertiary recycling is done when products or materials are recovered without public participation. This process is especially done within the factories or industries at the manufacturing level. Now let's look into the various steps which are involved in recycling process. The various steps include collection, segregation, rinsing and finally processing. Now let's look into the details of the, these steps. First collection. Now here you have different colored bins where the collected waste can be segregated. The waste once collected can be segregated into the bins. For example, the green color bins are for food and garden waste. The blue color bins are for mixed dry recycling and the black color bins are for non-recyclable waste. Now first let's see how a food or garden waste can be collected in a green color bin. 
food and garden waste are generally collected in corn starch sack or green top bins the garden waste include grass hedge and shrub cuttings leaves and weeds plants and flowers and also straw materials there are certain tips which are given below for storing a particular waste in green color bins first you have to take a caddy caddy is nothing but a small storage containers you line the caddy with a newspaper or a kitchen towel so that it will absorb moisture please do not use any plastic bags place all the food waste and plate scrapings into the caddy then when you empty the caddy into the green top bin rinse the caddy before using it again and once again line it with cornstarch or paper liners so that it will avoid and absorb moisture now second type is mixed dry recycling here clear sacks are used for collecting this type of waste you should ensure that it is not mixed with black sack waste as i told you earlier mixed dry recycling is for recyclable materials the list of recyclable materials which can be collected or which are to be collected in a blue color bin are given below like cans which include food tins and drink cans empty aerosol cans tin foil and foil ready meal containers cardboards can also be added into this bin which can be cardboard boxes cardboard food packets greeting cards toilet roll kitchen roll food and drink cartons papers can also be added into this bin example like newspaper magazines catalogs telephone directories paper bag books envelopes and junk emails glass materials like glass drinking bottles food jars and bottles can also be added into mixed dry recycling bins finally plastics like plastic bottles yogurt pots plastic ready meal containers ice cream tub supermarket carrier bags are also added into the blue color bin the non recyclable waste are added to black color bin or black sacks it is it can also be added to large communal wheeled bin the non recyclable materials such as disposal nappies sanitary towels and incontinence pads polystyrene packing pet waste or cat litter broken crockery cigarette ends ashtray content coal and wood ash can be added to the black color bin or non recyclable waste there are different categories of waste collection centers for collecting these recyclable materials they are drop off centers buyback centers and curbside collection in drop off centers the waste producers will collect the recyclable materials and take it to a central location and it will be given off in that particular center the buyback centers are different from drop off centers in a way that cleaned recyclates are purchased in turn they are given a clear incentives for the waste producers according to the us national waste and recycling association it costs on average 50 dollars to process a ton of material which is resold only for 30 dollars the third type of collection center is a curbside collection the curbside collection includes mainly faintly different systems they differ mostly on where in the process the recyclates are sorted and cleaned off the second step in recycling is sorting sorting can be done manually by hand or using automated machinery or strong metals the commingled recyclable materials is removed from the collection vehicle and they are spread on the conveyor belt after spreading they are sorted manually using automated machinery like disc screens and air classifiers Re also sorting can be done the disc screens and air classifiers separate the recyclable material by weight spl splitting lighter paper and plastic from heavier glass and metal even spectroscopic scanner can be used to differentiate between different types of paper and plastic based on the absorbed wavelengths strong magnets are also used for separating ferrous metals such as iron steel and tin cans non ferrous metals are ejected by magnetic eddy currents and glass fragments in the size range of 10 mm can be sorted automatically and are mixed together as glass fines now third step in the recycling process in rinsing rinsing is mainly done 
to remove the organic matter in food packaging materials. Sometimes even the packaging materials also require cleaning. Now we will look into the processing and recycling of different materials which are generated in the waste mixture. For recycling newspaper, a chemical process is used for separating the ink from the newspaper fibers which is then turned into a pulp and washed. The pulp is then poured onto a screen to drain which is then flattened and dried. Later it is passed through a steam heated rollers. Now what are the products which are produced from this recycled newspaper? You can produce wrapping paper, newsprints are produced and flower pots can be produced from recycled paper. While recycling one ton of newspaper, you save three tons of wood pulp. Almost around 23% of energy or 3000 kilowatts of energy is saved when we use recycled paper. Second material is cardboard. Corrugated cardboard is pulped and blended with new pulp from wood chips. The pulp is screened rolled and dried into two types of cardboard called medium and liner board. Now the materials which are prepared from the cardboard or the recycled cardboard is corrugated cardboard that is the ribbed liner layer of cor corrugated cardboard and the outer layer of corrugated cardboard are made and even brown paper bags are made from recycled cardboards. Similar to paper 23% of energy or 3000 kilowatts of energy is saved when you recycle cardboards. Next, aluminum scrap is grounded and shredded into small chips before being melted and cast into ingots. The ingots are sent to manufacturing plants where they are molded or rolled into sheets that can be shaped into various products. Now, the reused aluminum can be used for making car bodies or they can be casted or extruded into many other useful products. While recycling aluminum, around 64,300 kilowatts of energy per ton of reclaimed material is saved. Next material which that can be recycled is steel cans. The lids of steel cans are removed and then the cans and lids are flattened. This will make the reprocessing much easier. After this, the flattened steel cans are treated with caustic detinning solution by electrolysis. Now the tin and steels, tin and steel are separated. Tin is used by chemical and pharmaceutical industries. Tin saves around 2600 kilowatt of energy per ton, whereas steel saves around 4300 kilowatt per ton of material recycled. Glass is also recycled. A mechanical processing system breaks the glass into small pieces called culettes. Magnets, screens and vacuum systems remove metals, labels, plastics and caps. The culet is blended with silica sand, soda ash and limestone. The recycled glass is used for making glass containers and stained glass. The glass recycling saves around 860 kilowatts of electricity or 18% of energy when one ton of glass is recycled. Next material is plastic. Plastic needs to be sorted by type because many plastic resins are used that are incompatible to the recycling process. The plastics are then shredded, baled or chipped before it is shipped to the reprocessing plant. Resins are then melted, melted and then remolded into new products. The products which are prepared from recycled plastics are high density polyethylene which can be made into flower pots, car parts, toys and drainage pipes. Likewise pet soda bottles can be used for fiber fill industrial, strapping and carpet packing. The polystyrene plastic can be used for making foams and other desk desktop products. While recycling plastics, almost 90% of energy used for making new plastics are saved. Recycling plastics also reduces the stress on the fossil fuels like coal, petroleum and natural gas. Now let's look into the various recycling symbols. 
Towards the left, you can see different recycling symbols. For example, the first symbol shows the glass recycling symbol. This symbol is a prompt to recycle glass at a bottle bank or at a curbside recycling collection center. The second symbol talks about aluminium recycling symbol. This is a prompt disposal symbol for aluminium recycling facility. This symbol with numbers 01, 02, 03 all indicates the plastic recycling symbol. 01 symbol indicate that a product is made from polyethylene tetraphthalate that is PET. We call it as PET. It is a recyclable, it is a fully recyclable material. Example, drink bottles, pots, tubs and trays. 02 symbol indicate that a product is made from HDPE that is high density polyethylene. It is again a recyclable material and examples of this plastic include milk containers, washing up lid containers, etc. 03 symbol indicate that a product is made from PVC, polyvinyl chloride, which is again a recyclable material. The materials which are made from polyvinyl chloride are food trays, cling films, cosmetic bottles and pipes. 04 symbol indicate that a product is made from low density polyethylene, a recyclable material. Carrier bags and bin liners are made from LPDE or low density polyethylene. 05 indicates polypropylene and materials which are made of polypropylene are margarine tubs, microwavable meal trays, etc. 06 symbol indicates polystyrene which is again a recyclable material. Examples of this plastic include yogurt pots, foam, meat or fish trays, hamburger boxes, egg cartons, vending cups, plastic cutlery, protective packaging material used for electronic goods and toy packaging. Now finally, let's look into the various benefits of recycling. As we all know, recycling is very very important and it will save a huge amount of energy. It will also reduce greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to global climate changes. It reduces the amount of waste sent to landfills and combustion facilities. It conserves natural resources such as timber, water and minerals. It also prevents pollution by reducing the need to collect new raw materials. Finally, it helps sustaining the environment for future generation. To summarize what we have studied in this module, we started by looking into the definition of recycling. We also discussed about what are the types of recycling, how different materials can be recycled. We also looked into how the energy can be saved during this recycling process. We have also seen the various steps which are involved in recycling process. Finally, we concluded the module by looking into the various benefits of recycling and we also saw various recycling symbols. Thank you.